critics are now complaining that the president should spend less time campaigning and more time governing. So let's see what Lanny Davis thinks about that, former special counsel to President Clinton and now a Fox News contributor. Lanny, always good to see you. Welcome back. Thanks for having me back. And I wonder whether the in front of the word critic should be the word Republican. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. So, you know, take a look at this situation. Uh, you know, is, is he spending too, I mean, from his perspective, you know, if you're working for the president's reelection, do you think he's getting too much attention for spending too much time campaigning right now? Well, there's always a borderline that he might be, so it's a valid point. I think it's traditional for presidents to use their incumbency. Uh, the year before and the year of their reelection campaigns. George W. Bush did it, Bill Clinton did it. I'd say probably George Washington would have done it. It had been the same system. So I don't particularly criticize that, but I think because of the economy, there's a danger that he will look too political rather than focusing on the economy. Yeah, that's exactly uh, what I wanted to ask you about next, because the, the, perhaps the deeper criticism of the president, and it comes certainly, as you say, from Republicans, but also from some Democrats and some people who have voted for him as well, say that they want him to be more of a leader. And, and what I'm wondering is, would it be a better strategy for him in this moment in time to come forward and say, look, we're in very difficult situation in this country. Uh, these, these times call for a different kind of leadership. I am not going to spend my time campaigning. I'm going to spend my time working. You know, that kind of language, would that sort of make people wake up and say, hey, I, I think we're seeing you know, a turn here? Well, I've been one of the Democratic supporters of President Obama, and I am a supporter, and I write a weekly column for the Hill newspaper in which I was critical of his lack of leadership in endorsing Simpson Bowles, the deficit cutting commission that mm -hmm. he appointed. I was certainly critical of his departure for an Asian conference at a critical moment during the super committee negotiations. But having said that, I'm still a supporter of his and I think he's got a campaign. He can't go all one direction and not campaign uh, because that's really uh, giving up the field to your opposition. But he's got to find the right balance. And I think right now the right balance is to focus on the economy and trying to find a way to recover from the failure of the super committee. Yeah, you, you know, you make a, an interesting point about Erskine Bowles uh, and the Bowles-Simpson Commission and whether or not, do, I mean, do, do, is there any reason to think that he's going to come out and say, let's revisit that, let's go back to that, as was suggested by you and others over the weekend, uh, that they should take a look at it and, and re reintroduce it? I, honest to goodness, don't understand why from day one in the State of the Union address he didn't have Erskine Bowles and Alan Simpson, I've written this in my column, to stand up and address Democrats and Republicans on national television and say, I'm going to stop my State of the Union speech and I'm going to ask everybody in this room to stand up to support what these two people have done with bipartisan support, including Senator Dick Durbin and Senator Coburn, yep. a liberal and a conservative. And he didn't do it and hasn't done it to this day. Why do you think I he think didn't now do it, he should. Why doesn't he do it? Well, the, you know, the part of the Democratic Party base was offended by the cutbacks in Medicare and Social Security and entitlement programs, and I certainly uh, support those programs, but I also recognize there needs to be an across-the-board balanced approach. The Republicans only want to cut spending and not increase revenues. They don't have a balanced yeah, approach. But only guess... Erskine Bowles and Alan Simpson gave us that approach. And that's what we're talking about, I think, recognizing the fact that we do live in different and some would say desperate times uh, that call for right. a different kind of behavior than we've seen uh, in the past, perhaps. Lanny, thank Agreed. you so much. Uh, always Thanks, good to Martha. see you here, sir. Lanny Davis.